and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For all of you guys that don't know me, I'm Mina. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. I am a certified life and relationship coach for all of you guys that are new to my channel. So welcome. So today's topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys is going off of something that's crossed my mind quite a bit in the last few days that I thought would be a good topic to share with you guys. And that is the importance of not being, not being, the cool girl in the relationship. Now, before we get started and I give you my examples of a cool girl in a relationship, let's define what a cool girl is. So a typical cool girl would be one that is more like the guy than an actual girl. So it's one of the bros. Even though you're dating this guy, even though he's dating you, he looks at you as more of like the chilled back, laid back, no complaining, taking it easy, no need to go above and beyond for chick, okay? So you may consider this a good thing. He actually may love this thing about you. But deep down inside, as the woman, you know that this is all an act. You know that you're giving this guy what he wants, regardless if it's who you really are. So no matter how you feel about things, and no matter what you like, you're giving him the version of yourself that you think he wants. So that means liking the things he does, doing the things he does, being the person that he likes or you think he likes, and really holding back the person that you truly are. And again, this may work for a temporary period of time, but in the end, speaking from personal experience, it will not work in your favor. So now let's get started on a few examples. Number one, and this is such a big one, I cannot even emphasize it anymore. Sports. This subject is so common for women to pretend that they know so much about. Only because they see that the guy that they're dating loves sports so much. For example, now it's football season. It has just begun, okay? So women will go above and beyond when they see these guys watching their games at the bars or at home, so these are the guys that they're dating or seeing or about to see and getting involved in, and they will buy a new jersey, put it on, pretend that they're actually interested in, sit through the million hours that this game lasts, let alone an entire day, and sit there with their guys, pretending like they know what's going on, pretending that they're fans, trying to fit in and be more like one of their boys because that's what the guy likes versus just being honest and saying they don't know nothing about this sport. It's that simple, okay? And let me tell you, speaking from personal experience, I was one of those girls. Yes, I was one of those girls. I wore the jerseys. I bought the jerseys. And I would sit there and have no interest in the game of football, like at all. But I would do it for the guy that I was with. And again, that's not to say that it wasn't fun, that other people weren't around, that we weren't eating, we weren't laughing, we weren't drinking, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I could probably do this once in a blue moon. But if you're doing this every Sunday night football, Monday night football, Thursday night football, and watching multiple games each weekend until the season's over, and you have no interest in it, it is torture. It is torture, okay? Like in my mind, there was a million things I could have done otherwise. That doesn't mean I don't care about this person. That doesn't mean I don't want him to watch football ever again. It just means that I have better things to do with my time. I shouldn't pretend to like something I have no interest in, okay? And that goes the same for other sports. Like I'm not head over heels over baseball, but I will go watch a game. I'll go watch with friends. I'll go watch for the atmosphere. I'll go watch for the bars around to enjoy my time with my friends. That doesn't mean I'm gonna know every player, that I'm gonna know every play, that I'm gonna know who they play next. I just go there for fun. But if you're there pretending to know everything that's going on, when you have no interest of knowing what's going on just to please this person, you're setting yourself up for misery down the line. And I hate to say it that way, but it's true. It is true, okay? Because if you're gonna play pretend and give this guy an idea that you're actually interested in these sports, he's gonna start bringing you to more and more games. He's gonna have the expectation that you're gonna sit there and watch these games with him. 
and bless his heart if that's what he likes that's all good i'm not saying change the guy i'm just saying don't pretend like you're interested when you're really not okay you may have another sport that you're interested in go all out in that sport like me i love basketball so i could actually sit through a basketball game and watch the entire thing and i will be happy doing so but i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that i know all about who jj watts is because i don't know who the fuck that is period so let's drop the cool girl act Let's stop investing our time in things that don't matter to us, not because we're bad people, simply because we're not interested in them. Let's stop pretending, let's stop lying, and save ourselves the time with these guys as well as the disappointment down the line. Number two, being the cool girl that goes to the bars and the clubs with her guy every single weekend because that's what he wants to do. If you're a woman that met her guy at the bar or at a club, this comes with no surprise. But if you just happen to be at the bar at the club the night you met him and it was a once in a blue moon thing, you need to be honest about that. Because if you cross the guy whose regular weekend getaway is the bar or the club on a regular basis with no time in between, that will catch up to you sooner or later. Because if you're a woman that goes out to a bar or club once in a blue moon, for some type of event like a birthday or something in that nature and he goes out every single weekend that's complete opposites so now if you're going out every single weekend because he's going out every single weekend and you're exhausted by monday and you realize that your bank account is going down that will definitely catch up to you financially not to mention physically and mentally if you guys are two different people, when it comes down to what you do with your time on the weekends, and it clearly shows, playing the cool girl and pretending like that's okay every single weekend is going to get you nowhere. First of all, ask yourself this, why is he at the bar or at the club every single weekend? And second of all, ask yourself why you're wasting your time following him around. Number three, being cool about your relationship status when it's going absolutely nowhere. Oh, we've been together for like five years, moving on to six, and we're just kind of good where we're at. I mean, he's happy, so I'm happy. Are you so? Or, yeah, we've been seeing each other. We've been on a few dates or whatever. We kind of spent some time together. Um, not really boyfriend and girlfriend, but you know, I'm happy to see him. He looks like he's happy to see me and I don't want to mess things up. So I'm just going to play cool and see what happens. Really? Really? That's what you're going to do and be cool with it? For how long? Ladies, that is one topic you do not want to be cool with. Okay. When it comes down to relationship status, and being in a relationship, getting into a relationship, seeing where the relationship is going, that is something you want to be on top of. If you don't see it going anywhere, you got to go. You have got to go. Do not waste your time. Do not waste his time. A guy that knows what he wants to do is not going to waste your time. He's going to give you clear answers on where he wants this relationship to go, where he sees you guys in a year, two years, five years, 10 years. If he sees a future with you, he's going to make the moves. Why? Because he knows that. If he won't, somebody else will. But you allowing this to happen is going to only enable him to do this more and more. So it's time to drop the cool girl act if you want to see your relationship get places. Being in default and just going with the flow will not get you there. Especially if you're looking to eventually be married in the next few years or have a family or buy a house together or just settle down. You really want to be clear with this person and let them know what your expectations are. Because if you don't and he's just cool being where you're at, you're literally going to be in the same spot in 10 years. Because the way he looks at it is you're in no hurry to settle down. Like you guys are just cool. He doesn't have to try. You're not looking for anything serious. Like you guys are just hanging. You're good. You're chilled. You're laid back. So why should he make the next move? Or at least make the next move anytime soon. Save yourself the time and set clear expectations. Number four, being the cool girl that lets him borrow things. Your car, your home, money, 
When you are letting a guy borrow any of those things, like it's no problem and nobody's business, he's going to get very, very comfortable with you. He's going to realize that there's no expectations there, there is no boundaries, and he doesn't have to try with you. He's going to look at you like the backbone, like she's chilled. No matter what, she's got my back. No matter what, she's there. If I need something, she'll lend it to me. If I need something, she'll be there. And there is no reason why that should be happening. He should be the backbone. He should be the leader. But instead, he's borrowing your car on a regular basis because his broke down and he never fixed it. But instead, he's staying over your house, kind of half moved in, half moved out because, well, his roommate didn't want him anymore. And you're allowing this because you're the cool girl. And you being the cool chick that you are, are allowing all of it to happen. But instead, you should be putting your foot down. As a grown man, he should have his own car. As a grown man, he should be working at having a job. That's his scare the money part. As a grown man, he should be having his own place and having money to pay for that place. You shouldn't have to go into cool girl status just to keep him on his two feet. And again, that's not to say that we don't have hard times, things don't happen, life doesn't throw you any curveballs because it does. But if this is on a regular basis, at this point, you're literally one of his boys. Because if there's issues with finance, there's issues with a car, there's issues with where you stay, he has his family to help him. He has his guy friends to help him. He shouldn't rely on you being one of his boys to take care of his problems. So even though your intentions are good and you feel like you're helping this person out, you're really enabling him to rely more and more on you. And in the end, it's going to drain you mentally, physically, and emotionally. And take it from me because I've been in this position before where I dated a guy who could not stand on his two feet for nothing. Okay? Nothing. And the sad thing is that I literally came into this relationship knowing that. But we live and we learn when we're young, right? And let me tell you, that entire relationship was a complete mess. The guy didn't have a car because it broke down and he never fixed it. Who was there to pick him up everywhere? Me. Who was there to drop him off everywhere? Me. At one point or another, he didn't have a place to stay. So where did he stay? My place. Once every few weeks turned out to be every other day. Until the day I broke up with him, he literally made himself comfortable and had no plans on leaving my place. And because I wanted to be the cool girl who had no problem with this, who was more than willing to help, that I didn't want to be looked upon as the mean girlfriend, the one that kicked him out when he was in a bad place, I literally allowed this to happen for a very long time. And what happened at the end? We broke up. So that means I wasted a whole lot of time that I could have saved myself by not babysitting a grown man and instead allowing him to stand on his two feet. But because I didn't have it in me to just be honest with him and be like, hey, look, this is not right. Hey, look, you need to get a job. Hey, look, you need to fix your car. I ended up wasting a lot of my time, gas money, and my mental health. And number five, being the cool girl that's always on call. Now, what does this mean? It basically means that anytime he wants to hang out, anytime he wants you to do something with him, anytime he wants to go somewhere with you, he doesn't make plans. Instead, he calls you five minutes before, 10 minutes before, the morning before, and expects you to drop everything you're doing and just not have plans. And what does the cool girl do? Even though she may have plans, even though she may have things to do, she will literally drop them to make this guy happy. Even though she may have plans with her friends or family, she will call them and reschedule them or cancel them. Even though she needs to go grocery shopping or run errands, she'll put them off until the next day, even though today is more convenient, just to spend time with this guy, just so he doesn't get mad at her, just so that he's not by himself. And what happens at the end? You do yourself no favors because you're letting others down or canceling plans last minute and people actually look forward to plans with you, and you're rearranging your schedule, not in your favor, just to keep him happy. So you go above and beyond to spend time with a guy that doesn't know how to make plans, unlike yourself who does make plans, but yet you're not helping yourself by dropping those plans, canceling those plans, rearranging those plans, 
And as I mentioned before, this does you no good. Once in a while, this will happen, sure very understandable. Emergencies will happen. Again, very understandable. You'll need to drop things, rearrange things, reschedule things with friends, with family. It will happen. But this is happening every weekend, every week, every other week. And it's becoming a regular thing where no matter what you plan, it's going to fall through because, well, you don't want to be mean and just simply tell them, no, I'm busy. Today won't work. You're gonna run yourself thin. You're gonna tie yourself out you're gonna eventually crash. So think about that next time. Think about setting those boundaries for all of these examples, all of them. Who do you want this guy to like? You or the pretend you? You without your mask and your beautiful face? Or you with the mask on? And how long do you plan on having that mask on for? How many more games do you have to sit through when you have no interest in? How long before you tap out even though he's still staying in and you realize you wasted your time. How many more questionable relationships or situationships do you need to be in before you put your foot down and say, hey, okay, where are we going with this? Like, what are your plans with me? What are your plans with us? This is what I want to do. What do you want to do? How many more of those do you need to go through? How many more times are you going to be borrowing things to this guy? before you're like, "Uh uh-uh, no, I'm done. This is ridiculous. I'm not your mom. You need to get a job. How many more times are you gonna be tired on that Monday because you once again went to the club and the bar with this guy for the third time this week because that's what he does? Ladies, I'm gonna give you some of that tough love and tell you, drop the cool girl act. Be who you truly are. Don't change or pretend to be somebody that you're not just to keep them engaged, just because you think that's what they're going to like, just because they're going to be happy, just because you want somebody to be by your side. Will it work temporarily? Of course it will. It will work temporarily, but not in your favor. You may keep this guy around for a few weeks, few months, maybe a year, maybe a year, but you're going to realize sooner or later that being somebody that you're truly not is exhausting is tiring, is getting you nowhere. So be your authentic self. Be who you truly are. Be honest about these things. If you have no interest in sports, be honest. Hey, babe, you're going to watch football today? Okay, cool. I'm going to go get my nails done. That's perfectly fine. Now, if he has a problem with that, you know that you're clearly just with the wrong person. You may have differences. That's totally fine. But don't pretend to like something that you have no interest in. And if he has a problem with you not liking that, time to go. Okay? Time to go. Don't put your mental health at stake just to please the other person, to be that perfect person for them. You yourself are perfect just the way you are. You're 100% who you need to be, with or without this person. And when you're with this person for the wrong reasons, giving them somebody that you're not, you're literally taking away from that perfect percentage. So ladies, be yourselves, be who you are, And remember, the right people will come along. There is no need to pretend. You are perfect the way you are. And if you feel like you have to become another person just so this person could like you, that's not the person for you. The right person will come along. So ladies, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a long one, longer than my usual videos, but I figured this is a good one to share with you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, sharing my content with all your friends and family because as always, I love making these videos for you. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next one, okay? Take care. Bye.